Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Francisco, and in this video, we are going to compare the map method and the for each method. We are going to look at how they are similar and how they differ. Here we have an HTML file with a simple boilerplate, and in this file, I've linked a scripts.js file. Jumping over to that file, we have a variable called array, and in this variable, we have an array consisting of odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, and nine. I've stacked them visually because it will be easier for me to explain some things as we move on through this tutorial. We have another variable, this one called body, and in here we've stored our body element using the query selector method. Then I've console logged our variable array so that we can see that our console is working. The map method and for each method are similar. They both iterate through your array and they do something to each entry. The difference, however, is that the map method returns a new array while the for each method does not. First, we'll create a variable to store our results. We'll call it results. Then we will call our array and use the dot map method. The map method accepts a callback function. This function will be called once for every object in your array. The parameter will represent each individual object as it iterates through. In our case, it is a number. And to each number, we will add one. Let's console log this new value. I will add a string to make it stand out in the console. We can see that the map method went through each object in this array. It added one and then it console logged it. The one feature that map has that the for each method does not have is that the map method is allowed to return something. In our case, we'll return the variable num. What the map method will do is create a new array with all of our new values, and then it will store it in the result variable. To see this, we can console log results. Looking over at our console, you'll see that we now have a new array. The for each method does not return anything. To see this, let's change map to for each. The values inside the for each method are still being individually console logged, but our array is non-existent. This is why you see undefined. So what is a case when we need this new array that the map method provides? A good example of when we would use map over for each is when we want to display something in our browser. For example, let's take our body variable and using the inner HTML property, we can insert our results. Here we have our new array being displayed and we know that it's our new array because they are even numbers. One advantage to using an array to display your data is that you are able to use other methods to manipulate your data, such as the reverse method, which will reverse the order of your array. Can we display items with the for each method? Yes, but we won't have many of the features that the map method allows us. Let's do the same thing now, but using the for each method. We'll delete the return statement because the for each method does not allow it. This time, instead of adding all values at the same time, we'll have to add each one individually as we iterate through the array. You'll see that we've been able to insert all values, but they are not separated. They're just thrown in there all together. I can use template literals to add a comma in between each value. I'll use the dollar sign curly brackets, then use the JavaScript variable, and outside of the curly brackets, I'll add a comma and a space. However, this isn't exact because we still have that last comma. Also, we're not able to conveniently manipulate our data with methods such as the reverse or the filter methods. If you're wanting to do something simple to each object in your array, such as adding to it or subtracting from it, then a for each method will work. But if you're wanting to do something more complicated, such as displaying your data in your browser, then you will have to use the map method as the map method creates a new array out of your new values. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by hitting that like button, telling all your friends, and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time.